Manchester United, they've yet to kick a ball in Major League Soccer, but they're making waves. This week, announcing former Barcelona and Argentina manager Tata Martino as their new head coach. And club president Darren Eels and technical director and U.S. soccer legend Carlos Bocanegra visited us here in the Extra last night. And I started by asking about the recruitment of Tata because apparently he was the one who initiated contact with Atlanta. It just shows you how far I think Major League Soccer has come in this country, that we've got a coach of the quality and pedigree of Tata Martino. And yeah, he reached out after the, um, the issue he had with Argentina and you know, the resignation there. Um, and at first I was pretty cynical because I've had a lot of players and coaches sort of reach out and you're never really sure if they're, they've got the right reasons for it. But Tata was very interested in MLS, had done his homework, and this was clearly something that he felt, I think, a project where you could start from scratch was something that was really intriguing to him. So when he reached out and we had that first chat, it was something that we were really keen to pursue. How difficult is it going to be, the recruiting process, uh, and who are you putting in place around Tata that knows the league quite well, aside from yourself? Yeah, so good question. So when we first had the talks with Tata, and he realized there was a lot of rules and regulations and differences between the MLS and around the world. Um, we explained to him that we would like, if we took a foreign manager, we would like to put someone on his staff with MLS experience and MLS knowledge that had been in and amongst the league. So he was all about that, no problem. He was open-minded for it. So that was always gonna happen from the beginning. And within the next few weeks, we should hopefully finalize all those decisions and uh, have his, his staff with him. Looking at Major League Soccer as a whole, 24 teams, if there's a deal agreed with David Beckham and the Miami franchise, have you guys been given any assurances as to where the league is going, when it will stop expanding, and if down the road there is any kind of promotion relegation? Yeah, so for me, the league is just going from strength to strength. When I started back in 2000, I believe, with Chicago, um, you know, from the hotels we were staying in, the way we traveled, uh, the amount of teams, the stadiums, the quality of training facilities, it's only gotten better, and the league is just going from strength to strength. It's covered in, I don't know how many countries now, over 80, 90 countries worldwide, so there's eyes on it, and uh, it's only getting better. But any assurances, though, as to when it might stop, for example, because that is a question that's out there, Darren, as of right now. There could be 24, and then we don't know after that how much uh, Major League Soccer want to expand. And like I said about promotion relegation, it's been a hot topic yeah. in U.S. soccer of late. And have you uh, and the ownership group been given any guarantees that that's not going to happen? Now, I think Don Garb has been quite clear that 28 is the latest number that the, the group of uh, clubs have agreed is, is going to be the next expansion. So I think 28 for the foreseeable future. And as far as promotion and relegation is concerned, I know it always gets raised, but you know, as far as I can see coming into the league, I can't see that happening in the medium to long term. All right, brilliant stuff. Carlos Bocanegra, Darren Eels, pl absolute pleasure having you in here at BN Sports. We wish you nothing but the best when you kick off for the first time in March at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Thanks. Kevin.